Abstract and concrete are classifications that denote whether the object that a term describes has physical reference. Abstract objects have no physical reference, whereas concrete objects do. They are most commonly used in philosophy and semantics. Abstract objects are sometimes called abstracta sing, abstractum, and concrete objects are sometimes called concreta sing, concretum. An abstract object is an object that does not exist at any particular time or place, but rather exists as a type of thing, i.e., an idea, or abstraction. The term abstract object is said to have been coined by Willard van Orman Quine. The study of abstract objects is called abstract object theory. In philosophy The type token distinction identifies physical objects that are tokens of a particular type of thing. The type of which it is a part is in itself an abstract object. The abstract concrete distinction is often introduced and initially understood in terms of paradigmatic examples of objects of each kind. Abstract objects have often garnered the interest of philosophers because they raise problems for popular theories. In ontology, abstract objects are considered problematic for physicalism and some forms of naturalism. Historically, the most important ontological dispute about abstract objects has been the problem of universals. In epistemology, abstract objects are considered problematic for empiricism. If abstracta lack causal powers or spatial location, how do we know about them? It is hard to say how they can affect our sensory experiences, and yet we seem to agree on a wide range of claims about them. Some, such as Edward Zalta and arguably, Plato in his Theory of Forms, have held that abstract objects constitute the defining subject matter of metaphysics or philosophical inquiry more broadly. To the extent that philosophy is independent of empirical research, and to the extent that empirical questions do not inform questions about abstracta, philosophy would seem especially suited to answering these latter questions. In modern philosophy, the distinction between abstract and concrete was explored by Immanuel Kant and G. W. F. Hegel. Gottlob Frege said that abstract objects, such as numbers, were members of a third realm, different from the external world or from internal consciousness. <laughs> <laughs> abstract objects and causality Another popular proposal for drawing the abstract concrete distinction contends that an object is abstract if it lacks any causal powers. A causal power has the ability to affect something causally. Thus, the empty set is abstract because it cannot act on other objects. One problem for this view is that it is not clear exactly what it is to have a causal power. For a more detailed exploration of the abstract concrete distinction, follow the link below to the Stanford Encyclopedia article. Topic. Concrete and abstract thinking Jean Piaget uses the terms «concrete» and «formal» to describe the different types of learning. Concrete thinking involves facts and descriptions about everyday, tangible objects, while abstract formal operational thinking involves a mental process. Quasi-abstract entities Recently, there has been some philosophical interest in the development of a third category of objects known as the quasi-abstract. Quasi-abstract objects have drawn particular attention in the area of social ontology and documentality. Some argue that the over-adherence to the Platonist duality of the concrete and the abstract has led to a large category of social objects having been overlooked or rejected as non-existing because they exhibit characteristics that the traditional duality between concrete and abstract regards as incompatible. Especially, the ability to have temporal location, but not spatial location, and have causal agency if only by acting through representatives. These characteristics are exhibited by a number of social objects, including states of the international legal system. See also References External links Abstract and concrete at Philpapers Nominalism, Realism, Conceptualism, from the Catholic Encyclopedia Abstract versus. Concrete in Writing, from Writing for Results <laughs>